I want you to think back and remember the last 10 nights of Ramadan. How excited were you for the opportunity to earn those amazing good deeds? How excited were you for the chance to know that Laytul Qadr was coming? Well, we have good news. I guess we should say the Prophet ﷺ gave us good news. That the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, these first 10 days, are the most beloved days to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The last 10 nights of Ramadan are the most beloved nights. These are the most beloved 10 days to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The Prophet ﷺ told us that there are no deeds which are done in these 10 days that are more beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So think about that for a second. By just doing one small action, one small deed, feeding someone who's hungry, giving a small amount of sadaqah, whatever you can give, just know that that is going to be something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a great manifest reward for. And when you really begin to appreciate the opportunity that exists, there is no better thing that we can do, there is no better action that we can do than fasting. Take the opportunity in these 10 days before Eid, the nine days leading up until Eid, to fast. Make sure you fast these days, especially the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah, Arafah, because the Prophet ﷺ told us there is no day wherein Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees more people from hellfire. We all want to be from those who, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees from hellfire. And we ask that if we fast this day and we do the good deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do, that He frees us from the hellfire on that day. Assalamu alaikum.